How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. I used to own a Porsche Boxster and when I tried to park it in my garage, sometimes you have to move it maybe half an inch or an inch or so. And oftentimes it's really hard because you have to control the clutch and essentially let the engine spin a little bit more and just kind of wear the clutch a little bit in order to move very, very slowly. But today I'm in a Model 3 and I've had this car for about one year and seven months or so and I am just very, very impressed by how slow it goes. Not how fast, but how slow. So let me show you guys. I'm in the parking lot right now, so I'm gonna try to go as slow as possible. First of all, I gotta get the rolling resistance. You can see on the road, I am moving. It says one mile an hour, but it actually can go slower than this. It's essentially a roll. I'm gonna try to go slower. 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 Like that. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Now it's a little bit misleading on how many inches I'm traveling here. So I want to put the camera outside, look at the wheel itself and see how much I'm actually rolling. So here we go. Now when I do this, it's like moving across these, I don't know, magnetic poles or something. It's like switching from one to another. And it starts to get a little rough. You can kind of almost feel each tiny little bit of rotation when it changes the magnetism. You know, I don't know how many steps it has, but um, you can almost feel it and you can even hear it as well. Let me turn off the air conditioning. Now, same thing with reverse. If I'm gonna go in reverse, if I go a little bit too slow, it just comes to a stop. But if I just go enough for it to kind of roll. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Oh, it's a little too fast now. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. It's less than zero mile per hour. So it's traveling less than that, something less than one mile an hour it's getting hot so i'm going to turn the air conditioning back on i don't think i've seen this advertised as a feature before but when i am backing up into my garage i can actually move to a precision to maybe half an inch if i'm really careful or so but with a conventional car with a clutch you know i i can only make it within maybe one or two inches or so because you know the throttle and the clutch is kind of hard to control and it just kind of you know when you put in a little bit of gas it just kind of goes forward a lot more than you want to and then when you roll back it rolls back a lot more than you want to so this is an interesting thing i thought i'd share with you guys don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more